So you can see here, we've got our surgical site. These sutures around the edge are causing that marsupialization that we created yesterday with that lateral bulla osteotomy. When we look down the ear, it's completely blind ending now. So over time, some material might get built up in there. You can just take a cotton bud and just flip that out. But in the immediate post-operative period, we wanna be making sure we're cleaning all of this material away and squirting some of our saline with our needle and syringe directly into that hole. So you don't wanna get the needle too close. Obviously we've got somebody holding our rabbit in place as well. We wanna be loosening all this material around the edge, but also gently squirting into the hole. So you wanna put too much pressure behind it. We're probably doing five or six mil every few seconds. Um, because we don't wanna to squirt too hard into here because sometimes the inner ear can be a little bit um, kind of ir um, irritated by what we're doing. And if we squirt too hard, we can kind of overstimulate it and we can end up with some vestibular problems. So we just wanna go nice and gentle, just wiping away this material around the edges. And we're gonna do 50 mil twice a day directly into that hole. Now inside that hole is that exposed tympanic bulla. So that's what we did the lateral bulla osteotomy on. We took the side wall off that tympanic bulla. We're gonna flush gently into there with 50 mil twice a day, uh, making sure as well after this surgery that our patient can blink because we've got a facial nerve that runs along here. And sometimes during the surgery that can get damaged depending on the pathology that is present. So every time you're flushing, just make sure that our little bunny can still blink. Um, and again, over time, wax can build up in the top part of the ear, so we can just flick that out. And immediately, post-operatively, we want to be flushing 50 mil twice a day into that hole, cleaning all the material from around the edges. And over time, what we want is for this hole to heal very, very slowly. So the idea is that all the pus that we've removed from that lateral bulla osteotomy, we're going to be continuously flushing it out. You'll have seen chunks coming out from the flush that we were just doing at the beginning part of the video. Um, but over time, we want this to heal nice and slowly. So eventually, there'll be nothing on the outside and everything will have hopefully healed up nicely on the inside.